I'll cut that part out. Um, hello everybody, welcome to the vlog. Uh, we're doing a vlog outside today because it's nice out. It's beautiful. Beautiful day outside. So we figured we'd do one from out here. And uh, we're going to be doing some random questions. And uh, Aaron, you want to take it away? Sure. Um, before I jump into it, uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about how nice it is out here. It's like one of those days where you sit outside, you lose track of time, and then you pass out, and then you wake up, it's like 7 o'clock at night. It's just kind of so nice. It's not hot, it's not cold. Yeah, it feels great. Yeah, it feels phenomenal. Today's a great day. Yeah, I'm glad we, uh, glad we came out. Me too, me too. On days like this, I like to take advantage of the nice weather and do these outside. Yeah. You know, it just adds a new dynamic to the vlog itself, you know? For sure. So. But, uh, as we were walking over here, yes. uh, Brandon made mention of leaves that were already on the ground. Yes. And then it kind of put me in that forward thinking kind of mode. You know, it's like, well, it's pretty much the end of summer this last month here in change. We're heading to fall pretty much. Uh, it's a little premature on that, but still. Still. I got to thinking. We're going to do a random Q&A. I wanted to do a forward-thinking kind of Q&A. Okay. And in terms of, you know, uh, what do you want to accomplish when you want to do here in this next, next, you know, three or four months, uh, where it's basically fall, fall and winter. What do, you, what do you got on the agenda here that you're going to... Uh, try to take care of? Yeah. One thing I'm going to try and make trying to do more is go back to the gym. Um, the gym is something I've been meaning to do and I keep putting it off. Um, with that, there's those online classes for math that I got to work on still. I only worked on those for a little bit and I kind of stopped just because, well, because depression, you know, can really kill your mood for a lot of things. I know um, there's times where I get depressed and I feel like not doing anything. I just kind of feel like sleeping all the time so horrible. Um, so I'm going to try and make more of an effort to push through the depression and try to work on those math classes. Um, I was thinking about working on those web design classes again as well. Um, I also would like to start some kind of uh, online schooling that's accredited. Um, seeing as how I can't go back to work anytime soon, i got to find ways to keep myself busy. So. Working out at home, if I don't go to the gym, is definitely one of them too. Um, there, there's a lot that I got, I have to do to keep myself busy. And, yeah, uh, you for know, sure. I got, I got plenty of stuff on my plate. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I didn't even tell you this yet, but I'm just overwhelmed by all the stuff that I want to do and, and things that are happening and uh, just overwhelming myself. And then when I get to the point where I overwhelm myself, I kind of shut down. And I don't do much. I don't do anything. So I just too much going on. Too much, yeah. Too much at once, and um, spread myself too thin. So I'm trying to just focus on one thing at a time. Get back to basics. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get back to yeah. But um, I mean, there's plenty I want to do, and plenty that I can do. It's just I had to get. I have to stabilize myself before I can do these things. And sometimes, you know, you get into a depressive episode, and it can last you. You know, days, weeks, months, you know, depression's no joke. And uh, right now it's really ruining a lot of things for me. That my anxiety is really causing a lot of issues because I, I, I feel like I'm putting too much weight on my shoulders. But it's like stuff like I gotta get done and I wanna get done so I feel better about myself so I know more so I can learn more and grow as a person. So I guess, I guess when I thought about the question, I thought about it more in like, more of a simple kind of something to work towards. Like one singular thing okay. where everything else kind of orbits around that singular thing. Something that you want to work towards and to have that be the focal point of where you're trying to go. Or at least the first step towards a greater overarching plan. Well, for me, that's difficult to say. If you're looking for me to say like one, just one thing that I want to like, accomplish, right? 
Well, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not necessarily like one thing. I mean, you could say, well, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this. But these yeah. are kind of like things that were just kind of like you know, ancillary pieces to something. But I want to know what that broader, that bigger something is. Like, what's that big substantive thing that's important to you that you want to accomplish that's going to get you back on the trajectory that you were at previous to that make you be more fulfilled as a human being, something more, you know, solid that'll put you back in the place of life where you perceive yourself as, as belonging to, you know? Well, that's a hard question to answer because of all the stuff that I got going on. Um, I, I, mean, I, don't really, I don't even know where to begin to answer that just because of my current state. Um, as I said, I'd like to, you know, improve upon certain aspects of my life, but as far as looking at what, like the bigger picture, you're saying? Yeah, the bigger picture. I, I've got a long way to go before I can start working on the smaller picture, just because of the counseling and the medication and, um, uh, I really don't think I wouldn't worry about it. And, um, I don't know, man, it's hard to say because I'm, my problem is I want to go in so many different directions at once with things. Like this like YouTube channel, I really want this to go somewhere. You know, and I, I put a decent amount of work into what I do with the channel. And uh, obviously with your help too, you know, that's always a, a benefit of it. Um, but the bigger picture, I'd like to see this go somewhere. Um, that, that would be my main focus is working on this until, you know, it becomes more, um, more known, I guess you could say. Um, just because I don't know anyone else from this area that does this, and I'm trying hard to be the person from here that does this. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough question for me to answer. It is a tough question to answer, yeah, but I like to ask that question periodically. You know, not something, it's not a question you want to ask someone all the time because it gets really annoying, you know, because it's a hard question to ask. Yeah. So it's really just a question I, I, I ask periodically to where, you know, it's kind of there, but, you know, not intrusive. Right. I mean, I think that life, life is hard, life is difficult, um, you know, and there has to have be some sort of, like, stability to it, otherwise it would be very chaotic. Right. And I think answering that question can provide anchor in reality for people, despite what may be going on. But sometimes it takes a while for people to answer that question. Uh, but when they answer it, it's a very gratifying question to answer. Right. But I think, you know, um, still looking for place. So that's it for this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching or watching. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.